What's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna make a real quick video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I say real quick all the time, but it ends up being like 20 minutes long. But just kind of explaining the couple videos that I'm uploading. Um, one is talking about Betty Knox. Uh, this is exploring haunted Betty Knox, and the other one is exploring exploring the haunted Connellsville Cemetery. Uh, the story of Betty Knox. The the story is true. I don't know if the ghost story is. The story goes. I and I, I'm sorry. I don't know the dates. Uh, but in Dunbar, PA, which is if you are familiar with southwestern Pennsylvania and the area, Dunbar is dead center between Uniontown and Connellsville, PA. Um, it's where they have the Fayette County Fair and all that crap. But the story of Betty Knox happens in that area. Um, this woman had a speakeasy back in the day, which... For people who know what a speakeasy is, I'm not going to... Uh, it's a bar with something else. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so, this woman and her husband owned a speakeasy. Well, her husband supposedly was, supposedly was cheating on her. She got pissed off while he came home one, drunk one night and knocked on the door. Well... Whenever she opened up the door, um, she swung either an axe or a knife and stabbed it. And then, whenever she seen what she done, she threw his body into the creek running beside the house. And his body, you know, thinking that the, the high running waters back in the day was going to take his body away. Well, his body only went about anywhere between 20 and 50 yards and got stuck in the mud. Well, where he got stuck in the mud at is now a very locally known swimming hole. Now, that part is true. The ghost story goes, and again, I've had some experiences there, but not obviously exactly what they say. I, you know, I've heard the screaming. Uh, just let me explain. Um, I have the radio on, so hopefully you guys can't hear that. You know, I'm listening. I'm actually listening to Creed. Creed. Yeah. The weathered CD. Don't ask me why it's on. Just, just shut up. <laughs> Anyways, I have a very wide variety of music people. Um, but anyways, the story, er, the the ghost stories are, if you are unlucky enough to actually find the house, now the house is said to disappear. Um. Or, you know, you just can't find it. Uh, so, if you are unlucky enough to actually find this house, it is said that if you knock on the door, Betty knocks. <laughs> Betty knocks, you know. If you knock on her door, she is, she is said to open the door. Now, some rumors say that she opens the door and she swings an axe or a knife, whatever she used to kill her husband, she swings it at you. Now, obviously, I don't know if that part is true. I don't know if anybody else knows if that part is true. Because, obviously, if somebody swings an axe at you, ghost or not, supposedly it is said to kill you. Um, now, you are also said to be able to hear her crying, obviously because she's upset. Uh, 
and or laughing or cackling. And you were also said to be able to hear her husband uh, screaming, uh, his groaning, and gasping for air. Last night, whenever we went, I actually find I actually did hear what it sounded like, almost like an old woman cackle, you know, like an old woman witch cackle. That's kind. That's what I heard, and I also heard what it sounded like, uh, like a man screaming. Uh, now that's what I heard. I heard it. It was in the distance, and all that stuff. Um. Now the second, and by the way, I'm sorry for the videos being very dark. Uh, I didn't think about, I took, uh, I thought it was enough light with us. It turned out it really wasn't. Uh, but the second place we went to, the cemetery, we kind of had to keep it, you know, the lights under wraps anyways. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, also at Betty Knox, uh, uh, I went down by the creek area, and I was standing on the rocks watching the water go by. Whenever I first got down there, I got dizzy. Um, like, I actually got up on to one of the rocks, and th we were, I was actually by the swimming area where her, her husband's, his body got stuck in the mud, and his bones are supposedly said to still be there to this day um so yeah they, and it's it's a very like I said it's a very popular locally known swimming hole <laughs> so there you go um but people go fishing back air and all that shit so it's a very very well known area now the second place we went to was the Connellsville Cemetery and inside Connellsville, PA. If anybody who knows the area, it is by East Park. Okay. Now, the stories there um, are supposedly you can see a man. Supposedly you can see a man with a top hat. And he just walks around and you can just see him. But supposedly you can see another man with, it looks like he's holding a baby or something, you know, he's holding something, kind of cradling look, you know, um, and you could see him off in the distance. Supposedly this is the baby that he kidnapped. Now, you're also able to supposedly able to hear like children the sound of children either laughing playing or crying and you are able to hear the sounds of a baby laughing and or crying uh, and then the part that really kinda is really disturbing about it is you are supposed to be able to see a woman there and this woman is looking really frantic. She's looking, you know, looking around for her baby, her child, who was kidnapped. You know, the, the, remember the man who kidnapped the baby? This is the child. You know, this is the, the, the child he kidnapped. And he, the woman, is looking for the baby. Now, supposedly... If you see her and you look in her, you know, if you see her face, supposedly it is said to scare you to the point where you have a heart attack. And another side of it goes, if you, if, you, if she catches you, if she catches you, um... Supposedly, she thinks that you have her child, and supposedly she will a either kill you on the spot, 
you know, she'll attack you, or she will actually latch on to you and, you know, attach herself to you and basically haunt you, uh, driving you crazy to the point where you commit suicide. Now, obviously, I don't know if, if the ghost stories to either of these places are true or not. But they're definitely creepy. Um, now, with that being said, I love this. I love this stuff. This Canada Dry. This Cranberry Canada Dry. It's the best shit in the world. It only comes out around Christmas, and I hate it. But, um... Again, I don't know if these are true, but my experiences last night, I did, like I said, at Betty Knox, I did hear the cackling, uh, or, you know, or, uh, you know, kind of like a witch old lady laughing, and I did hear what it sounded like a man screaming. Now, at Connellsville, I heard, I, I, first off, I felt sad. I felt just very 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 sad you know and it was literally as soon as i got there and by the way we were we were i was very you know we were all trying to be as very you know as respectful as respectful as we could obviously you know with the the tombstones and the the dead bodies obviously uh trying to be as as polite and respectful uh you know i uh you hear me in the videos apologizing for them being there. You know, obviously. It's a very old cemetery. Uh, if you look and see some of the... Um, uh, some of the tombstones. I mean, they were they lived and died in the 1800s. This is a very old cemetery. Uh, so, but also, besides being very sad, I heard... What sounded like I I kept hearing children, uh, like young children laughing, and uh, I didn't really hear crying all that much. I did hear what it sounded like, uh, you know, the children running around playing, and I kept looking around. I didn't say anything, but I kept looking around, you know, because it was midnight one o'clock in the morning there's shouldn't be any kids running around it's midnight one o'clock in the morning and 20 fucking degrees outside so there should be no little kids running around and then i also heard i don't know if i caught any of this on camera or uh digital recorder yet i didn't i wasn't able to check it out yet i just uploaded all the shit i, I just fuck it i just uploaded it uh because uh, I was, I'm uploading anything, anyways. But I did hear what it sounded like, like a baby laughing. You know that that belly laugh that babies have. That's what I heard. And again, it was kind of, it was kind of creepy. Um, you know, because it's twenty degrees outside, twelve one o'clock in the morning. There's no babies around. And then I realized that I was actually in the baby section of the cemetery. And I went, oh, <laughs> okay. I understand a little bit now. Uh, excuse me. Also, they seen, my buddy seen, I, I seen the silhouette with him of something off in the distance that did kind of look like somebody carrying something. Uh, but I'm not sure. It could have just been a tombstone. I'm not sure. We were, pro I w we were probably 100 yards away downhill. So, who knows? It could have been a tombstone. could have been a tree. Uh, and then... There was... There's one tombstone that, you, that is actually underneath a tree. It is not marked. Supposedly, if you go and you knock on it, and I did this, you can actually see the video. This is it's part two of being at Connellsville. Uh, if you knock on this, 
Now, mind you, you hear my buddy tell me that you cannot have lights with you and you cannot have people with you. Now, so I was in night mode and I had the uh, full spectrum going. Um, if you knock on this tombstone, supposedly you can hear a knock back. I didn't hear a knock back. Of course, I don't know if I was at the right tombstone or not. There's, I don't know, like five, six, like seven tombstones underneath this tree. Now, what I didn't think about literally until about literally right before I started making this video. Uh, it is said that if you, if you are a witch, if you are, you know, uh, back in the day, you know, if you are found to be a witch, you are to be burnt a lot, you know, burnt and then buried with a pine tree planted over your grave and it didn't dawn on me that this was a pine tree that I was under and yes there was a there was a couple tombstones under this tree and one in particular was right next to the trunk of this tree and it did not dawn on me until right before this video so with that being said could that be a witch that is buried there? Or suppose if, you know, could it, you know, could she have been wrongly buried there? That's something that I would love to figure out. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. Again, this, uh, like I said, I, that this video is supposed to be quick and it's, you know, almost 20 minutes long. So, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a full insight of kind of what I did, you know, what we all did yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, just out of, out of nowhere, we decided to go and do this because uh, my fiance ended up getting off of work. Um, you know, instead of having to go in, she literally went to work and then, you know, a couple minutes later, she's coming home saying, hey, they sent me home. I'm like, oh, sweet, cool. So we ended up going out and having, you know, having some fun. So instead of staying at home, doing nothing. Uh, which is obviously what I want to do anyways. I do want to start getting like a ghost hunting thing going. It was our first one out of gear. Uh, me and my buddy, we used to do this whenever we were younger all the time. Literally, it was practically every, uh, damn near every night in my early 20s. Uh, after I got my license, me and him used to go, like I said, damn near every night. Uh, but when we were teenagers, it was pretty much every weekend. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it went pretty well, but I do know I have to get more lights. Absolutely. My camera actually is, it, it comes with a thing that you're able to hook up a flashlight directly underneath it. And it comes with a flashlight. It just does not come with a fucking battery. And I, it doesn't even tell me what battery I need. I have no idea. I've had this, this camera since the middle of September. And I have no idea what battery this, this flashlight takes. It doesn't take AA. It doesn't take AAA. It doesn't take, you know, uh, Quad A. It, it, we have, it doesn't take Single A. I have, you know, I have no idea... Or it doesn't take AAA either. I have no idea what what size battery this this flashlight takes. I've, I have no no clue. Uh, so I gotta. I guess I gotta look that up. But it does. I don't even think it has a serial number on the side of the of the side on the side of the flashlight. So it's like I have no idea. I even looked. Went back to see what kind of flashlight it was that I, you know, that came with it. And it doesn't even tell me that. So, I don't know. I got to figure it out. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, 
again, those videos are, they're uploading now as we speak. I don't know if they actually uploaded already yet or not. But that is what's going on. That is what we did. That's what, you know, and that is basically what we are going to be doing or what I want to be doing is going out to these places and basically doing ghost hunting instead of being at home. That's the whole reason why I got my camera. Well, except for that mirror to actually do ghost hunting. So that's what's going on. Uh, that's the whole reason for this YouTube page. I really, it's something that I really, really love to do. Uh, you know, and hopefully, I'm hoping to one day actually make a career out of it. That would be a lot of fun. So, uh, that'd be, that would definitely be, that would be a hell of a life. So, anyways, guys, I will let you go. I hope you guys are all being safe out there. I hope everybody is trying to stay as healthy as they can. Um... You know, good luck. God bless. Uh, and again, in words of my great-grandmother, don't be ugly. Bye, guys.